Hey crafters, I'm here today to share with you a little brief tutorial on something that I've been working on. I um, finally was able to find a pair of booties that fit my foot. Um, it is not exactly petite. As a matter of fact, my grandfather used to say that it's a wonder I didn't have pneumonia with so much of me laying on the ground. So, thanks, Grandpa. Um, but what I wanted to show you um, is an offshoot from something that Mae Larson from Creating with Details did, and it's altering um, a pair of booties or boots. And I will put the link to that video in the description box below. But what I've created is along the same lines, just with the difference being that I did not attach this to the boot since it took me a while to find a pair that I really liked in my size. I wanted to be able to change what I put on the boot. I'm having trouble getting it uh, in frame here. So what I've done is just created a boot cuff or boot bracelet, I guess I've seen them called, um, and just attach that to the boot. Now what how I've attached this is just using um, Velcro. So as you can see the boot remains the same and it just looks something like this. So let me zoom in just a little bit so that you can see this a little bit better. I will show you exactly how I made this. It's very simple. And I just used some sari ribbon to create a little bow um, to give that little extra added detail on the back. Now there are a bazillion ways that you could make these and I've seen a ton of these on uh, Pinterest and other areas on the internet and this certainly isn't um, my design but it was my take on one and I thought when I was working on this what a beautiful um, wedding boot cuff this would be um, for somebody who was doing like a shabby boho wedding or a, a country farm style wedding. Um, so let me show you how I created this and I will put a link in the description box below um, to the Creating Detail store with all of the items that I have used. So I started out with two pieces of lace from, as I said, from Creating with Details. And I just love the detail in this one. And then this is one of my absolute favorites right here. Um, when I saw this come out, I knew I just had to have it. And originally when I saw this, my intention was to um, create a little cuff bracelet, which I may get some more and do that with, but I've used up all of the um, this trim that I ordered on my boots. So what I did is just, let me zoom in just a little bit, and I hope the um, video quality isn't horrible. The last couple of videos that I've made, they seem to be a little blurry, and if anybody out there has any suggestions on how I can fix that, Oh, I would be so grateful. Now, the only thing you're going to need are, like I said, these two trims. You're going to need, um, I use this beautiful um, button. It's a vintage style button that Creating with Details is carrying. And I used some of this really pretty, it would help if I had it right. It's kind of a pearl and rhinestone trim. You'll also need um, a piece of Velcro with the two pieces. And 
to cut this, I simply measured the width of the lace and just cut that accordingly. Now, even though this is sticky back, I still um, reinforced it with the hot glue gun, which is what I put this project together with. So you'll need some of that. Or you could even use a snap if you if you have some. And they have some really nice magnetic snaps that they use on purses that you could also use on this. Um, and I'm also using um, this fantastic new um, bead set that Creating with Details has. It has so many beads in here. They're flatback pearls. I'm sorry, I'm saying beads. They're flatback pearls in a variety of sizes. Now this is really a pretty simple project. You'll also need a pair of scissors to uh, cut your trim with. So, to get started, I simply laid this piece here and making sure that I have the right sides together or the wrong side, wrong to right side, right side facing up. Um, I just simply laid that out on top of the bottom lace like that and hopefully my glue gun is heated up and I just started gluing right here just attaching the two edges together like that. Now if you have very sensitive fingers um, you can use the end of a pencil like the eraser part or something like that um, to push that down to make sure it stays. This Sherbonder glue gun um, creating the details does have a few of these left. They are selling them and these are fantastic because of the fine tip on it and it does have a few less glue strings, you know the little webs that we all complain about still has them but they're not as bad and the other thing I like about this is it's not one of those super high temp glue guns um, it's just hot enough to do the job so I just take just put a little bit of glue right on the edge and when I get to this piece right here um, I kinda centered it right in between this area here. Now when I'm doing this I, I'm only gluing one like the top um, as I go across and then I'll flip it around and uh, do the same thing on the bottom. I just kinda eyeball it and try to keep it you know along I'm trying to keep it along this edge right here again just center it as best you can and then glue all the way across I'm sorry ladies if this is a little bit boring I can't fast forward or pause with my current webcam so like I said though this is not a long and involved process I just wanted to uh, share with you uh, what I had done with the boots that I finally found because I was so in love with the uh, boots that that uh, May from Creating with Details did and I thought oh to have a pair. It took me quite a while to find them. Um, either I couldn't find them in my size, they were the wrong color, or they were just just outrageously expensive. So I happened upon a sale and they happened to have my size. So here we are. Now I'm just going to glue this end right here and then flip it around and very quickly do the other side. Now I've also cut, there was a, enough of this trim here that I cut a piece off at the very end um, that 
has the little dangles on it. And I am going to um, fold this in half like this so I know that this center medallion right here is where I want to attach this extra medallion with the, the little dangles on it. I did too want to mention that in order to um, make this what you're going to need to do is measure around like the ankle part of your boot and that will give you the measurement for how long you need to make your your trims. Now I did allow um, probably a half an inch for overlap in the back where I could um, you know attach the velcro so that it had a kind of an, a seamless look to it when I was done. So I'm just going to quickly glue these on here. Well, bonehead, I'm trying to glue the end I already glued. I'll be all right. I promise I will. Someday, somehow, I'm going to be okay. Just going to keep on trucking. And I'm doing the I'm doing a no no. I'm doing this right on my desk, and you can probably see uh, what a bad habit that is because I have marks and stains all over my desk. But I need to get a new wipe off one of those miracle mats that you can uh, glue on and paint on, and it just wipes off. I made a uh, bad error in judgment. Um, and let the grandkids play with it and they used pokey things and now it has all kinds of cuts and whatnot in it. So I have to get a new one. Okay, so now I have this part done and you can see the little dangles in the middle. Next I took, um, this is an, actually a shank button as you can see on the back here and I'm just going to snip that shank off to give it um, a flat finish and you just use a pair of um, flush cutters if you make jewelry or um, some type of scissors that will cut because the backing is actually a plastic so it does cut very easily so I'm going to glue that right in the center right there and the next thing I'm going to do is to cut pieces of this trim to go right in the center here. So these cut very easily with scissors because it's, it's um, like thread that's woven together that these are on. And it alternates pearl, rhinestone pearl, and the pattern that I ended up using because of the way it was cut is I have to cut off a, um, a rhinestone like every other one but these come in very handy for other projects so that being said I'm just going to put a little dab of glue here and cut that off I see where I put that on there we end up with the first part being a rhinestone so I'm just cutting that off and if you count it's one two three four five so one two three four five just cut that off and run a bead of glue attach that These are absolutely beautiful. I know that the camera is not doing them justice, but it's just the right amount of oh, bling and I guess kind of the classy pearl look. I absolutely love this. I this, These come in one yard lengths 
and I've already used these on several projects so you get a lot of bang for your buck and this is the last one here now the next thing I did was to take these flat back pearls and just lift them up and there and I'm gluing these right in the center of the, the flower medallion here so there's one two and even though this is on the end I'm going to put one here because this is going to be the front like right here where the velcro goes this is the front the other end I did not attach because the velcro goes over top of it so I didn't put a bead on the other end here so there was a method to my madness so I need three of these and ladies I can't tell you this this package this little kit is six ninety nine I cannot tell you what a value that is. These things, I've priced these at like Michael's, Joann's, other craft um, stores, and they're outrageously expensive. You get a little tiny package for like three, four dollars. This is a phenomenal deal. And it comes pre you know, it comes packaged just like this, filled to the brim with all of these flat back pearls. So you need to get over there and get you some because you're not gonna find a better deal. So, again, I'm just going to, I put a little dab of glue, a little hot glue. Now, if you don't like working with hot glue, you could use uh, something like um, Fabri-Tac. Um, it holds really well. It is intended for fabric. It just takes a little bit longer uh, drying time. And because of the video, I wanted to show you all the steps and didn't want to have to wait for it to dry in between, whoops, butterfingers, just simply gluing those down like that. Just like that. And see how delicate this is? Even though I'm not getting married, I, I did that already. Um, I wanted this to wear with, you know, some of the more frilly um, skirts, pants, whatever, you know, that I may wear these booties with. And I just, I just thought it was very pretty in, in the simplicity of it. So now we're going to um, apply the Velcro or hook and tape, uh, hook and eye tape, I forget what they call it. Um, to the ends of the bracelet and this is where I usually have a little bit of trouble because my fingernails aren't that great now this has a really strong adhesive on the back of it I think this was I think this was like 3M or something like that I bought a big roll of it but you just want to put that right on the edge right here like that on the top of your cuff and like I said even though this has a really strong glue I want to make sure that it's not going to come loose so I just go along underneath the edges in any place I see where it might be not completely adhered just adding a little dab of glue like that and that ensures that hopefully this isn't going to come apart. Now to do the other side, the way I did this was to take the second part of the Velcro and I lay it right on top of the first piece after I struggled my way through getting this packing off of here. And the reason that I did that is I figured this would give me the easiest, um, most accurate placement of both sides of the Velcro. There we go. That was on there. Good. So I take 
the rough side and place it down on the other on the top of the other piece with the sticky side facing up and see how tight that sticks and then you just take your cuff and flip it over and line it up like so and just adhere that velcro to the other side so now you have like a little bracelet for your boot now I'm going to pull that apart and add a little bit of glue like I did on the other side just to make sure that when you're undoing this because you know eventually that velcro sticky back does have a tendency to kind of get worn out especially if you use it a lot and try not to do what I did and get glue on the the actual face of the velcro because it might not stick so good so again you just place the velcro passing it on top of each other and there you have your your boot cuff now on this one I used some um, sorry ribbon and just made a big fluffy bow and I simply attach that to the side that overlaps on the boot cuff like right here this is the part that overlaps so this ends up in the center of the back of the boot like that and I will do the other boot cuff to match that but you ladies all know how to make bows I don't need to show you how to do that so I hope you enjoy this and and I had so much fun doing this and I think I'm going to be doing um, some other tutorials on different types of boot bracelets I'm, I'm going to call them a boot bracelet because I don't know really what else to call it and um, I hope that you liked this and found it um, interesting and, and maybe want to give it a try and if you do um, try one of these I, I, we would love to see what you come up with um, I love seeing what other people do and how they create and uh, if you do would you please share it with us because seriously we would love to see your creations so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And until next time, please be kind to one another. Um, support each other. Love each other. And peace. Bye-bye.